Ways to save money and your sanity with holiday lights. Advice on bringing your boyfriend home for the holidays from a guy. The perfect gift idea is your spouse will love you for year round. Welcome to Life Love Shopping. I'm Andrea Jackson. And I'm Michelle Yarn. And I just have to thank Great American Cookies oh, for this early yes. holiday delivery. <laughs> this is their new cookie, Double Fudge Peppermint. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, no, and let me tell you, I've had two, and they're fantastic. They're that chewy, soft, yeah, yes. delicious. It's the perfect consistency. And I'm telling you, you bring these to a holiday party, you yeah. are going to be a serious hit. <laughs> yeah. And while we're talking holiday parties, two of the most common questions asked at those holiday gatherings are, are you ever going to get married, yep. and when are you having a baby? You know? <laughs> All the time. Next time, the would-be grandparents start asking. We've got some research ammo for you to hit them with regarding the best age to have a baby. According to several studies, if you have a baby in your late teens or early 20s, it's the best time because your body's reproductive system is at its peak. Once you hit 26, this is the best time in terms of lowest rates of birth defects. 32, the rates of infant mortality are at their lowest. If you want to secure your own longevity, wait until you're you're about 34 years old. Now, if that doesn't work, use some of these real life factors. Money. It's expensive to raise a child, plus you need to pay off all that debt and keep up with those bills. Then there's the marriage factor. You may have dated before getting hitched, but you might need some more alone time to secure your union. Is there ever really a perfect time to get married or a perfect age to have a baby? Never. You're never actually ready. And if you keep waiting until you are, it's never going to happen. Yes. And the age thing, it's like I got pregnant and had Jack. I was 28, and to a lot of people, that's young. But we had already been married for four years and together for like eight. So for us, it worked. It was the perfect time. Yeah, Because you had the alone time to exactly. enjoy we together. Exactly. to be newlyweds for four yeah, years. <laughs> you have to have that. Absolutely. I agree. Now, once you are pregnant, though, people always ask these two questions. Boy or girl, and what's the name? And the pressure of choosing a name can be overwhelming. But Baby Center released the results of its annual survey for the top baby names. Now, for girls, the number one name is Sophia, followed by Emma and Olivia. The top three names for boys, Aiden, Jackson, and Ethan. Ooh. And check this out. The popularity of the book Fifty Shades of Grey <laughs> has created a new baby name trend. The name Grey rose 18%, Anastasia rose 10%, and names from the hit British TV drama Downton Abbey Ooh. are also trending. And parents have even fallen in love with names inspired by tech gadgets, believe it or not. Apple is up 15% for girls. Mac, that's up 12% for boys That's and cute. Twitter has inspired one couple to name their baby hashtag. See, that is completely wrong. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Uh, pulling up stakes and moving for your partner's career is never easy. If you're at odds over relocating for a relationship, consider the approach along with the pros and cons. First off, the approach. Make a long list of ideas and different potential scenarios. Look at money, moving costs, climate, friends, family, your hobbies, and even the language. Remember, the key is to come to the decision together. The pros, now you'll move into a place together that belongs to both of you. It can strengthen your relationship or marriage because your other half will be grateful and nothing is forever. Now for the cons. One of you will have a built-in support system with new friends while the other will be searching for the grocery store, the cleaners, and a new job. Plus massive doses of reassurance, understanding, and gratitude are required. The great gift debate continues. Who is the toughest to buy for? As it turns out, it's the one closest to you topping the list. A Sears survey revealed spouses are the toughest person to shop for, and the average shopping list has eight people. Now, what's on top of most everyone's holiday wish list? Electronics for men and apparel for women. And if you're stumped on what you should get your sweetie this year, check this out. The study revealed two-thirds of men want electronics like TVs, tablets, and headphones. Another 21% want power tools. Home goods and large appliances are spiking this year. And men say they like practical gifts with 17% asking for fitness equipment and 14% asking for car care accessories. Ooh. Well, making your shopping list, you'll want to make sure to include some of these holiday favorites. Earlier, I spoke with lifestyle expert Sean McEwen for some great ideas. Hey, Sean, welcome back. Nice to see you. Happy holidays to Happy you. Happy holidays to you, too. Yeah, so we have some great gifts for guys, because guys can be a little hard to shop this for sometimes. This is true. Yeah. yeah. So we have some fun stuff, so I'll jump right in. Okay. Well, first of all, I don't know if you ever have trouble getting, like, your cell phone signal. Well, this is fantastic. This is the Z-Boost 4G Data Blast. It enhances weak cell phone signals. Also can increase internet speed up to 20 times faster. Go to yx.com for all the information on that. That's wi-ex.com. Okay. Also, Cricket cell phone. This is great. The Cricket HTC Desire C smartphone. It's great. It's got a fast one gigahertz processor. 
also has this move music service, which you can access unlimited songs and downloads. Go to mycricket.com for all the information okay, on that. Very Super good. cool. Okay, this is the Rolls Royce of paper shredders. I love this. This, this is fantastic. so cool. It's from <laughs> Fellows. It's the Fellows 63CB paper shredder. Now, what's really cool is it has a safe sensor technology. So if you accidentally oh. put your hand there, boom, it stops it. You're all good to go. Also has cross cut blades. Go to amazon.com or fellows.com for I'm all the info you, on my that. My cat is obsessed with my paper shredder, and I always worry he's going to get his It's car. a cat, a cat I, in Entertainer, I guess so. it's multifunctional, so it's good. <laughs> the Benchtop Pro, which is super cool for cycle and automobile enthusiasts. Now, what this is, it's a bio-remediating parts washer. So you open this up, Check and you can wash out. like your auto parts, your tools. Um, it's safe for the user and the environment. It uh, uses a, this great self-cleaning solution, which you'll see there. Go to thebenchtoppro.com for all the information on that. It's also free shipping for the holidays. Oh wow! Now, nice. guys obviously love gadgets, but they also love wine. Yes. So you have this great Christmas Cabernet collection from. Louis uh, M. Martini Winery. Oh, they um, make great wine. So good, very good. Uh, the Martini family has been based in Napa for about 80 years. Uh, it's great gift and pairing ideas. You can go to facebook.com forward slash Louis Martini Winery for all the information on that. Okay. Also from Oral B. I love this, it's the Oral-B Professional Precision 5000. It's the uh, Oral-B's most advanced rechargeable power toothbrush. It oscillates, rotates. It rotates about 48,000 movements per minute. Holy cow. It's great, go to oralb.com for all the information on that. Keeping your pearly whites super pearly. Gotta keep them shiny <laughs> yes, for holidays. Okay, also from Samuel Adams Beer, this is great. They have this um, for chocolate lovers, beer and, lo and chocolate lovers, T-C-H-O, and it's really great. Um, now you get this chocolate box here and you can actually pair your chocolates with your beer, oh so it's super good. Um, super great stuff. Go to SamuelAdams.com for all the information now, on I that. I know that might be for guys, but I think a few girls would actually like, like well, that yeah, too. They yes, like chocolate and beer. Course. Everybody likes beer, so it's good. <laughs> also, this is great from Dockers. It's the Dockers City Khakis. They have this great khaki technology. I bet you didn't know that khaki no, has technology. I never knew we'll that. We'll see. It's wrinkle-free. <laughs> it's great. It's machine washable. Go to Dockers.com. I'm actually wearing my Dockers outfit today, so I feel you dapper. You look super sharp, Thank Sean. you. Thanks. Dockers technology. See, you learn something new <laughs> every day. You do, I tell you. Well, if you've missed to any of these great ideas, all you need to do, head to our website, lifeloveshopping.com. Before you know it, we won't even have to lift a finger to do our online shopping. The power to control our tech gadgets could soon be in the eye of the beholder. Wouldn't it be cool if the only thing you had to do to unlock your mobile device was just look at it? Well, how about when you read on your iPad that it automatically knows when you finished reading the page, so it turns to the next? Well, how about playing Fruit Ninja like my colleague here on, behind me? Introducing the iTribe. It's a company of professors who've teamed up to bring eye control technology to the masses. Now, until now, eye control devices were expensive and they've been used for the disabled, but the iTribe says we could soon see this as a common feature on all tablets and phones. The technology uses infrared lights to track your eye movements, which allows the computer to see what you see. We want to make your holiday a tasty one. Michelle, you've got some ideas full of flavor We're for us. Revving up those taste buds. Yes. Let's start with the turkey. I think people forget it's not just for Thanksgiving. That's so true, yeah. Seriously, and Meyer has really delicious fresh and frozen turkeys that are perfect for any holiday gathering. And you can also go to Meyer.com because they have non-perishable products that will help you complete your whole oh, holiday nice. meal. And I love this. You'll find hundreds of ideas like citrus turkey, for <gasps> instance. Yum. It's flavorful. It's Ooh. made with wholesome ingredients. And Meyer's own Chef Ray created a series of videos, so you're going to get step-by-step -step directions for many of the Meyer meal box recipes and holiday entertaining ideas. Okay, too. this could be your year you make your first turkey. Yes, and you will do it well because you have that step-by-step -step <laughs> yes. guide, so we'll make a commitment to that. <laughs> now, a good drink this time of year, Sandamon Porto is Amazing. A little Portugal this, in a glass. Oh my goodness. This mm. is the top ranked imported Porto in the U.S. It's extremely mixable. So you can drink this on the rocks. You can make it in a sangria, a variety of cocktails. The different sandaman sangrias are so easy to make. They really complement all types of foods and occasions. And for cocktail recipes or additional info, you just visit sandaman.eu. This Founders Reserve Collector's Tin is limited edition. That's beautiful. Wouldn't that be a great gift? Yeah. Ooh, for the hard to buy guy on your list, yeah. list he's going to love you. Check for that him one. right off. Yes. Now, Caribou Coffee. I love Love, love, love me some coffee. Yes. And Caribou has this Rainforest Alliance certified reindeer blend. And it really brings together coffees from Central America with flavors from Indonesia. So it's heavy body, it's love rich, that. a hint of caramel, a dash of spice. And Caribou's 2012 holiday collection has some fun and creative gifts for everybody on your list. So there's a variety of gift sets, there's festive drinkware, Ooh. collectible ornaments. The gift sets include Caribou's Drinking Buddies, Merry Mocha, and a hot cocoa Ooh, mug set. Yum. And I have to tell you, Caribou just introduced two new handcrafted drinks, the salt 
salted caramel budino. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. And the salted caramel mocha. That caramel is made with real butter and cream, yeah. so you know it's delicious and creamy. <laughs> Wow. And I'm ready for a drink. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, Michelle, thank you. For more information, just head to lifeloveshopping.com. Still more to come on Life Love Shopping. Tis the season of love, and we are getting a guy's point of view when it comes to holiday relationship advice. And if you're hosting a holiday party this year, don't miss out decorating tips and hosting tips. We've got them for you next. And throughout the show, we are sharing some of America's best places for holiday lights, starting with the Festival of Lights in Riverside, California. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. Are you having everyone over to your place for the holidays? Well, Target has great decorating and hosting tips to make that party a success. Hi, I'm Sabrina Soto, Target style expert for home, here with tons of decorating tips for the holidays. When it comes to your dining room table, you have many options, but you don't have to start from scratch. Use what you already own first, a neutral tablecloth, neutral napkins, and your everyday white china. Depending on what you want for the theme, you really just layer on top of it. A metallic beaded charger is gorgeous, new goblets, and center pieces. This is a metallic theme that's very glamorous, very sophisticated. But if this is too traditional, you can opt for a very colorful, youthful setting. This uses a lot of jewel tones, really bright chargers, a new centerpiece. This is only $9, and very colorful wine glasses that, again, you could use all year long. Now, if you are hosting a big dinner party, it's not about sitting down for a formal dinner. I always tell people to keep it simple and do a buffet. Set up different stations. Near the entryway, you could have a drink station to invite people in, maybe with some eggnog, some mineral waters, or your signature cocktail. Then you could set up your buffet station in your dining room. And my favorite station, because I have such a sweet tooth, is a dessert bar. You could set this up really anywhere in the house. My little tip as an extra treat for your guests is to have little baggies out at the end of the t entire bar that when people are leaving, they can put in any leftover dessert um, that they want to take home with them and as an extra treat put a little bit of fresh ground coffee in a baggie in there as well the next day while they're talking about what a great time they had at your party they're enjoying these treats now when it comes to hostess gifts everybody's always asking me what should i bring to a party obviously a bottle of wine works but i like to give people things that they can use again and again this keepsake box the mirrored box from target less than thirty dollars you can use that anywhere in the house for more more ideas, tips, and hostess gifts, you can visit Target.com for the holiday catalog. Well, there's something magical about this time of year. Absolutely, but don't let your relationship status ruin your no. holiday. Seriously, whether you have somebody or not, it can be a really tricky situation, especially when it comes to attending those holiday festivities. Yeah, so here to help us with some great advice is Charles Divins from The Daily Buzz. Hey, Charles. Hello, hello. Good well, to have me. <laughs> okay, here's a question for you. You've got a new boyfriend. Do you bring him to the family get-together during the holidays? Because it's a lot of pressure on you. Yeah. That's a big one. I mean, depending on how long you get how new he is yeah. and yeah. how ready he is. You guys have had to have that conversation already. When's a good time frame? Is it maybe uh, you've been dating for six weeks, three months? Uh, six weeks, three months is good. As long as you've had that, like, we're exclusive and we're getting Ooh. serious okay, conversation. That's, that's a, lot of a pressure. really good yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> well, but, you know. Yeah. Does it vary, then, if it's an office party or a family party? Do you think it uh, be yeah, easier yeah. to do one over yeah. the other? Yeah. Uh, Family last. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> family, <laughs> as long as you can wait. Because for that's sure. serious. Because once you get introduced to the family, you're kind of committed. Yeah. yeah a lot exactly. of expectation and, and a lot of pressure. And they're going to be on him too. Yeah. So. But I gotta say, I would think during the holidays, people are more apt to be nice and accepting and welcoming. So it Never might not be a bad thing. I don't know. Families are. Oh. Families want to know what. what what you're bringing home. Right. You know what I mean? What are you up to? What is this exactly. present you have today? Yes. What are your plans? Exactly. They always want to get those details. You know, another situation that happens a lot, you go home for the holidays, you run yep. into that hottie from oh. high school. Oh, yes. How do you rekindle the flame or even, should you even bother doing this? What do you well, think? this is a good one because, you know, you're not in high school anymore. 
That's yeah. So you put all the drama away and, and start from scratch. And you can be honest, You can be honest. You can say, hey, I've, I've, I've thought about you. You know, I wanted to ask you out back then. I couldn't yeah. do it now. I mean, when you're an adult, you could do all those things you couldn't do back right. then. Or you didn't have the courage to See if they live then. up to your expectations that you had so many years yeah. ago, too. <laughs> yeah. Now, what about this scenario? You, you've been in a long-time relationship. Uh -huh. You go home for the holidays, and then all of a sudden, you've got the, the wedding talk and the baby talk. Uh. And do you have that conversation before you go, so you're kind of prepped with answers? No, I mean, you go to see the family, it's gonna happen. You know, <laughs> you know, you know it's, it's gonna happen. It, right? it's, so it's part of the course. Yeah. You know, your old grandma's gonna be like, "What are you gonna do when I'm gonna get my babies?" You know, <laughs> that's, that's just gonna happen. You gotta expect it. Are we reliving your holidays right now? <laughs> right. Every, every, every year. I think you've been there. <laughs> yes. But what if you're single when you go, though? Then people are gonna be saying, "Where is your someone special?" Yeah. How do I mean, you handle that? But again, that? like you know, through the years, you've already had that conversation. You just, yeah. you know, you you laugh it off. I mean, you know. Laughter and, and you know humor always diffuses anything. Try, try and turn the conversation around. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I actually have a friend who will just make up a story, a completely Which crazy story. Which is sometimes story. easier. Yeah. yeah. Just have some fun with it. Unless you, know? you get caught in the lie. Yeah. yeah. And then you get stuck. Right. Yeah. Now, what about proposing over the holidays? Do you think that's a good uh, idea? You know, I've had some friends who've done it. Really? It seems a little cliche. It does. Yeah. It does. But, you know, it's the perfect time. You know, it's that yeah. time when, you know, families come together. Why not make a family at that time? You know? True. And New Year's Eve is very romantic. It's a little cliche, yeah. though. You know, I know. You might want to stay away from it if you can. Yeah. yeah. Unless you're with somebody who likes that kind of thing. I mean, some people want yeah, that Yeah, that's true. Right. Exactly. Or maybe exactly. they want their family involved, so it's perfect time because everyone's yeah. together, right? I mean. There's no right answer to that. I mean, when, you're when it's time to propose, you, you just do it. Yeah, because it could make be. Make it good. Just make it good whenever it is. It you know? could be a total disaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which we yeah. want to avoid altogether. All right, Charles, thank you so much. You. you can catch Charles weekday mornings on our news partner, The Daily Buzz. Still more to come here on Life Love Shopping. Do you still need to hang those holiday lights? Well, we have got your do's and don'ts. That's all coming up next. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. Driving around looking at the holiday lights can put you in a super great mood, except if you're the one who has the pressure of keeping up with the neighbors. Oh, yeah. And to make that process easier, keep these tips in mind. You don't want to buy too many or too few lights. There's a balance there. Sure. On the tree, a good rule of thumb is 100 to 150 lights per vertical foot. <laughs> also, do not overwork your extension cord. Instead, get one that's just for outdoor use and only link five strings of lights together. Also, don't get caught off guard by high bills. Use an energy cost calculator to estimate the extra cash you'll be shelling out in the utility bills. Also, don't leave the lights on around the clock. Instead, put them on light timers. Do be a good neighbor. Try avoid. Try to avoid putting lights up that will shine right into someone else's bedroom. <laughs> okay, and don't let inflatable displays block the driveway. Do go for energy efficient lights. LED lights last longer. They shine brighter and they use less energy. Do get creative with DIY. Use ping pong balls for a snow ah. globe effect, or use cupcake liners to turn your light string into a flowering vine. Do store your light strings in a dark place when the holidays are over colorful lights will fade and lose their brightness and you have to love places like Target because they offer you these fantastic bins specifically yes. for all your Christmas decor and just stick them all in there and it's yes. funny we mentioned pressure from neighbors yeah. my neighbors are kind of like this they don't pressure us but we just feel it because you can bet every year Thanksgiving night those lights go yep. up and New Year's Day they take them down you gotta love them for that though if we're not leaving it up yeah and I've seen my neighbors are fantastic at decorating I, I don't so I don't feel the pressure yeah. but I can appreciate their light displays hey. yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's all the Lovely. same again. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to take away from your <laughs> stuff. Well, on the holidays, the treats are so good, too. So why not go beyond candy canes this season and try out some of these fun retro treats? Peppermint pillows. Aww. I love these things. These are classic hard candy with the red and white stripes and the peppermint flavor. la di -das. These are handmade swirls of white chocolate nougat and sea salt caramel yum, hand-dipped in premium dark chocolate. And they're a good twist on a candy bar oh, classic. Oh, sure. Or you could try licorice Scotty. These sweet pops fun. are fun and they have a really great licorice taste. What's your favorite holiday treat? Well, my mom is always uh, known for her cinnamon rolls that she will bake on Christmas morning. So I have to oh, say I love those. I mean, that's smell. more of a not. But the 
peppermint uh, peppermint stick cookies. I love those. Yeah, those yeah. are good. I gotta say, I'm a sucker for eggnog. I love yeah. it. I know some people love it or hate it. I love it, especially the homemade kind. With a little whiskey. Yeah, it. just go easy on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's good. And you can get the coffee creamers too. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, Starbucks does that fantastic eggnog latte this oh, time yeah. of year, which is good. A big thank you to Great American Cookies who yes. stopped by earlier today. These are their new double fudge peppermint cookies. I am telling you, so you take good. a box of these to a party, you are going to be loved forever. Absolutely. And I'm sure <laughs> they wouldn't mind if you took them out and put them on a tray and maybe yeah. made it look like you did some of the hard work. Because <laughs> they're that perfect soft and yes. chewy. Coming up tomorrow on Life Love Shopping, we are showing you the hottest wedding cake toppers for 2013. you got to see these and have your children written a letter to Santa to find out how to receive a personal video response from Old St. Nick. And don't forget to keep up with us on Facebook. You can see some behind-the-scenes photos, and you can also follow us on Twitter. We're leaving you with a classic, Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote, Stink, stank, stunk, you're a rotter, Mr. Grinch.